What you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be looking at how we can block or allow applications accessing the internet now if you want to block an application uh, firewall is the way to go it's a very simple and easy way to block an application from accessing the internet that means it can't go out of your computer and access the internet outside of your network and try to uh, download something or do whatever it needs to do connect to the server maybe the server of that application now if you want to allow it it's also the same process we can set up a rule and allow that application to access the internet so I'm going to share to do that using uh, Komodo firewall now firewall software is essential at keeping you safe because we have uh, online connection all the time with our internet now it's not dial up where you disconnect and you can use the computer now we're completely connected all the time to the internet and that allows us to be vulnerable uh, to uh, malware and other types of uh, infections so let's take a look at how we can do this with Komodo I will show you how to do it in Windows 10 firewall so Komodo uh, once you've got it installed here I'm assuming you've already got it installed this is it down here it's the little red C there most people don't even look at inside the actual settings here but there's loads of features inside Komodo firewall that you can use to um, make your system secure so let's take a look at the firewall option here click on this and this will open up this panel now once we've got this panel open this is the advanced settings and you can see here we have application rules if we click on application rules you'll see a list of applications inside here okay now if you want to block any of these or allow them then you can do it from this location here now if you don't see the program that you want to allow or block listed here then you can uh, browse for that and I'll share to do that in a second so for argument's sake if we wanted to block say for instance this IP camera.exe software from the internet you would uh, highlight you see the tick going in there double click on it and this will open up this window now once we've got this window open you can see here it says allow IP out for Mac any to Mac any where protocols is any okay so this is what it's doing here so if you wanted to change a rule you can actually double click on this and this will allow you to change the action of that rule so for argument's sake you can see the action here is allow if you wanted to block or ask you can do that so if you don't like it uh, to be always allowed to go through without asking you for your permission you can then make it ask and if you want to block it you just put block now also uh, here you can see TCP UDP or both now if you wanted to set this up you can see it says IP here because this is an IP camera and uh, if you wanted to uh, block these then you can set it up just like so let me just show you another option because the IP camera uh, is an essential part what I want to allow to go out so I'll show you another example so let's take a look at say for instance this uTorrent here I have a double click on this and if we wanted to change this all we'd need to do is double click like I said push block and you can see the direction it says out now if you wanted to make this in or out then you can make it both ways so it can't come into your computer and it can't go out of your computer now if you do block uh, say uTorrent that means you will not be able to download anything because you're now blocking connections in or out of your computer so if you want to block it coming in um, then you will block it here and if you want to block it going out you can block it here and you can put a description here saying uh, whatever reason it is why you've done that okay so you can keep tabs of everything okay you can name it any address here as well so or you can put in the actual MAC address of your uh, network card so it definitely knows that that's the network card that you want to use to block that connection and it allows you to set that up as it is there and the IP details and stuff are here but we're not going to cover that part so let's say you can block that there now what happens if it's not listed in this list here um, though basically what you need to do here is this little tab here I don't know why they hide it like this because it's sometimes pretty tricky for people to see uh, if they don't know it's there but if you click on this little tab here it gives you the option to edit move uh, remove move up move down and purge okay so if you want to add in an application and you can't see it you just hit the browse button here you can see running processes so again if you had a process that's running and you wanted to block it say it was a bit of malware you could go into your processes here and uh, find that bit of malware that's running that you don't like or 
a particular type of process that you don't like running all the time and block that by just say for instance this just say it was this we'll just uh, click on this and it's now put the path in for that file imagine this was a rogue uh, file that you wanted to try to stop running out ra uh, rampant on your system and using a lot of CPU and it was a uh, you can block it here you can um, block this by setting a rule now you can see here there is no rules here we can we can set this up by hitting this little tab again at the bottom hit add rule and of course again we can allow block and ask so we're just going to say block and we're going to block the TCP and UDP on this and we're going to block the direction for this as in and out and uh, we're going to say uh, you can call it suspicious or virus let's just say for instance it was virus we're just going to put virus in there so we know that is uh, what it is or, or what we think it is and um, you can see here you can set it up for any address that was I'd advise you to leave it as that and then basically you click OK and you can now see that this process will be blocked um, access for going out of my computer and coming into my computer it's as simple as that and to remove it you just click remove and you have full control of your computer and what goes in or out of your computer that's how basically you can uh, block or allow applications to access to the internet so I hope this one helps you out guys my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk if you enjoy these videos guys then hit that like button also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos if you've got any video requests or problems with your computers or anything like that you can head over to our forums and join up over there or if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then the information's on the screen right now. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.